So what do we think of The Launcher by Studio One? Hey everyone, Percy here. Welcome to Super C Music Talks. So Studio One 7 has been released last week. Now I'm not going to do a full overview video about all of the new features that come with Studio One 7. There are tons of videos out there that talk about exactly that. Go check them out if you like. But today I just wanted to focus quickly on one of those features. But before I do so, just a brief little history about me in relation to Studio One. Now I had been using Studio One for quite some years as my main DAW. For some reason at some point I wanted to have some live loop features or clip launching features. Studio One didn't have that. Uh, I was a little bit disappointed when Studio One 6 was released and still no live looping features. So I switched to another DAW being Bitwig. I came back to Studio One when Studio One 6.5 was released. So I started using Bitwig and Studio One side by side, which by the way, I'm still doing to this day. But now Studio One 7 has been released and finally, finally Presonus has introduced clip launching features. Now this of course is very exciting to me. So let me quickly show you what the clip launcher looks like in Studio One or the launcher as they call it. Now this is an existing arrangement. Now to access the launcher you can either, you either have to use the B key or you can go up to this icon up here. And then here it is. Um, now anyone who's ever used clip launching features before in any other DAW, this will look pretty familiar. Now clip launching of course, uh, you can populate any of these cells by either dragging something into it or by directly recording into it. And then you can loop it and you can you can mix it up. You know, it's it's a very useful tool for different purposes. Now, I think they did a pretty good job at implementing this in Studio One. Uh, as you can see, you can use it side by side with the uh, timeline or you can use it exclusively as they call it. By the way, this looks very much like how Bitwig is doing things. Uh, but anyway, you know, think I think they did a pretty good job, especially considering it's their first attempt uh, at adding clip launching features. Now, one of the features that um, impressed me the most about this is that if you have an already existing arrangement like I have here, you can uh, select all the parts of that arrangement and then you can drag it onto the launcher and it will kind of create a clip launching version of that arrangement. And then of course you can switch things up, you can move things around, it's, it's uh, very impressive stuff. So again, especially considering it's PreSonus' first attempt at adding clip launching features to Studio One, I think they did a pretty good job. However, there are a few things that I'm missing and it could well be that I'm just overlooking some stuff. If that is the case, then feel free to correct me. But let me give you a few examples. Now, first of all, let's just record a very basic drum loop. So let's go. All right, it could use some quantization, but that's not the issue right now. So. We've recorded this clip. Uh, we can now move it around. We can mix it up. We can do all the things that we can do with a clip launcher. Um, so that's all fine. But now let's say that we don't want it to be a two bar drum loop. We want it to be a four bar drum loop. Now what we could do is double click the, uh, the cell and then down here you can see all the, uh, all the information uh, the information of all the individual events within that clip. So we can duplicate that, we can make this clip then, uh, then longer and that way we can make it into a four bar loop. But of course, this is a very tedious process. There should be a much easier way to do that. Now let me show you how you can easily do this in Bitwig. So here we are in Bitwig. Uh, we have the uh, clip launcher open and on the clip launcher we can also see a two bar drum loop. Now if we want to make it into a four bar drum loop, all we need to do is right click the cell and then there is a function over here that says double content and boom, now it is a four bar loop. That's how easy it is and that's the way it's supposed to be. But unfortunately, I don't seem to be able to do it like this in Studio One. Now another thing that I don't seem to be able to do in Studio One is overdub record into a cell. 
Now, I can record in any of these cells, as I just demonstrated, but once these cells are uh, populated, there doesn't seem to be a way to overdub into that cell. Uh, and again, if I'm overlooking something, let me know. Now again, let me quickly show you how you can easily do that in Bitwig. So here we have a cell which sounds like this right now. Okay, now if I activate this button up here, then anything that I play on the keyboard will be overdubbed onto that cell. Not even sure if you say it like that, but I think you'll know what I mean. Let's, let's go. Okay, now let's see what the result is. Okay, again, not my finest performance, but you get the idea. And unfortunately, this doesn't seem to be possible in Studio One. Now, let me mention one more thing. So this is the show page. Now, the show page is an area within Studio One that is completely dedicated to live performances. So you can prepare a full set uh, you can go from one song to the other uh, very, uh, you know, seamlessly or you can mix it up, you can, uh, you know, uh, uh, improvise and, you know, it's, it's a unique feature in, in the world of DAWs, so great feature. Uh, the clip launcher, so the live looping features or the clip launching features, uh, have been introduced by Presonus as a tool to help you within the uh, creative process, which is absolutely valid. It's absolutely a great tool to help you come up with things that otherwise you would have never thought of. So absolutely valid. However, I always thought that if Presonus would ever introduce something like the clip launcher, that they would implement that into the show page because especially nowadays, a lot of musicians are using clip launchers in their live performances, you know? But unfortunately, it doesn't seem to be accessible from the show page. And personally, I think that that is absolutely a missed opportunity. Anyway, overall, I'm very, very happy and very excited that Prisan has finally decided to add clip launching features to Studio One. I think personally that it makes Studio One maybe the most complete, if not one of the most complete DAWs on the market today with, you know, the show page, the project page, the clip launching features and all the other features that it comes with. I'm very, very impressed with the product as it stands now. Some people might not be very happy with the new update system, which by the way, again, is very much similar to how Bitwig is doing things. But in and of itself, the product Studio One as it is now, very impressive but there is room for improvement and again maybe I'm overlooking some things then again if if that is so please point it out to me otherwise pre I hope you're paying attention thanks for watching